This Business Newsmakers is brought to you by Hudson Valley Federal Credit Union. There's a reason people live here. There's a reason people bank here. Hi everyone, Frank DeRaffoli here. Welcome to this week's Business Newsmakers. We're here today with Wayne Nussbickle of NNS Plumbing Supply, and he's gonna to talk to us about this generational business he's been involved with for a long time. A company has been around for about 70 years or so. And Wayne, thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, look, why don't we start with today? I think it's really exciting here in the Hudson Valley. We have a lot of generational businesses, and yours is one of the oldest ones, I would say. I'm going about, about four generations so far. So tell us a little bit about how NNS first started, what was it at first, and then how it got to where it is today. Well, during World War II, uh, and just prior, it was difficult to find supplies, especially with the war shortage. And my, great, my grandfather, Lewis, used to go down to New York City with my father and two of my uncles, and they would just pick up things they were, they were tearing apart from old buildings from the WPA projects. And they'd be ripping down an old apartment, they'd bring back doors and windows, and they'd bring back anything they thought they could sell. And if I remember the show Sanford and Sons from yeah, the 70s, yeah. I said that's what it was. That's what it was like. And they had everything lined up out front and you know signed lose new and used. And uh, it was really interesting how we got in the plumbing business. A neighbor across the street, where we're still situated on Route 9, that used to be where my grandparents lived and the original business was. The woman across the street said, "I need a sink." So I said, "Well, let's look when we go down to the city and see what we can find." And they came back and they found four sinks. So they sold one to the woman across the street. They put three out in the front lawn. And that's how it began, because they wow. found that those sinks sold in a couple of days, so they went back and brought faucets and more sinks and then toilets and more and more. And then people started asking for heating products, expanded the building, started bringing in some new products. So it's hard to say the exact date, because it kind of evolved. It wasn't like, okay, it's Monday, we're opening the doors <laughs> for business. It was, it, was a soft, it was a soft start. But, um, and even as I, when I was younger, I still knew people that were our original customers and, and well, folks who go It back. sounds like it was a supply and demand business that somebody, and there, that's somebody how it asked started, and, yeah. and started from there. It's funny, there was a guy who owned a bookstore up in uh, Massachusetts, and uh, he started the same way. He had a small bookstore. Somebody would ask for a book he didn't have, and instead of one, he'd order four, and then he'd sell three. And then it was the same type of thing. It grew and grew, and he has this amazing place today so it's interesting to kind of see that so how did then you get involved I mean were you coming up and was it something that you had a passion for when you were growing up as a kid was you forced into it were you doing something else and they came into it? what was your story well it was interesting as well when I was born uh, my mother had a German doctor and he, my father's in the waiting room and he come out and goes well Norman you have a son to help you carry on the plumbing business <laughs> so I was more or less born into it and my father kind of pushed me initially, but I did take a little time away because I wanted to get in the business, but I just want to make sure it was my choice that I didn't feel like something I had to do. And once I started working there part time and seeing some other options, I really realized that just to be part of that tradition and that family and what we built as a family and what we continue to build with, with terrific employees we have, that I really wanted to be a part of it. And my daughter, Stephanie, is now working at our HVAC division. She's a mechanical engineer and she does design spec work and calls on uh, large contracts and architects and engineers. So she's fourth generation, so we're pretty excited about that. So since you got involved, talk to us a little about kind of when you got involved, what were you first doing as you kind of come up through the ranks, if you will, and what are the changes that you've seen happen from when you first got involved to now? Well, when I first started, it was I was just doing return goods, and of course, everything was manual, everything was written down. And uh, one quick side, when, when NNS first started, we, I still have a copy of the book. It was their accounting book, and it had in and out for the day, then a total of in and out for the week, then a total of in and out for the month, <laughs> and then they added the 12 together, and that was their year-end statement, <laughs> there you go. in and out. So I mean, from that point when I started in the 70s when I was a teenager working nights, it, everything was manual, and it was more of a, a lot of small local people coming and going, and, and every most contracts had like one guy or work by themselves, and it's evolved over the years, obviously, with technology and barcoding and scanning and GPS with the trucks, so we can be more efficient but we struggle, as so many businesses do, to do everything we can to maintain that personal relationship because that's what businesses are built on, personal relationships. What have you seen happen in the industry that's been different from, because back then you were um, kind of coming up, the really high customer demand, you're still trying to do that today, but there's a lot more competition today. Absolutely. So what have you seen that's been the key for you guys to, to not only stay in business, but really be thriving in this industry? Well, what we've always done is try to differentiate ourselves and really, truly, everybody says, oh, we're into customer service, but we truly care about customer service and we really care about our people and our contractors. And when somebody needs something, we'll run it out on a night or a weekend, we'll stay open for people. 
We try to do everything we can to build a good relationship to let them know we care about their business and we want them to be successful. And what we've also done, because there's bigger and bigger competition and you know people are competing with people that do billions of dollars, is try to differentiate ourselves by design spec and I offer additional help like in the showroom and help people select and some design assistance. And we always try to do something that makes them feel very comfortable in knowing that by working with us that they're gonna get what they want and, and have a successful project. Here's something I want you to really talk about because I think there's a lot of people who don't know about the design aspect of what you do in the, in the um, remodeling that you guys can. So talk to us a little bit about that aspect of the business, how you grew into just being from supplies to actually helping people design you know, a new bathroom for themselves, if you will. The design part is more informal. We don't have official you know, architects. But most people just need an idea of saying, well, what can I use this space for? And our folks in the showroom are very, very professional, and many of them have been with us for many, many years. So they'll say, well, you know, you might want to put the tub this way if you thought about maybe a shower with, with a pulsating shower instead of a tub. And they really create ideas, and then we can kind of help them figure out that space. Because many times it's just a matter of not understanding what you can use that space for and just finding out what the customer's really looking for. And some folks, like, always had a bathtub. That's not necessarily true. Now there's body sprays and saunas, and there's so many things you can do on a wide range of budgets. And interesting because we have uh, our retail business about 20% with the showrooms and 80% as contractors. And they do the same thing. They'll come to us with a job and say, how would you lay this out? How can, how, what's the most efficient way? How can I do this job most efficiently and give my customer what they want? So we bring that through every aspect of our business. And that, I think that's been able to differentiate ourselves and why we remain successful when other people have really gone under in this type of environment. Yeah, I mean, you guys are such a community-based business. I know everybody that knows about you that's around, the, the giving that you give back to the community, really important. Um, if you wanted people to know uh, one thing about NNS that maybe they don't know or that you think is the most important thing to know about the company, what would that one thing be? We care. You see that level of caring all the way through everybody, the drivers, the people in the warehouse, or outside sales. And everybody's really concerned about doing the right thing and wanting to make sure the customer understands what, what they're getting and, and get what they're looking for. And you see that indifference in a lot of other people. You don't see the customer service you used to see. And at a daily basis, you walk into places and people are on the phone, they're looking somewhere else, you're going, hello, hello. Mm -hmm. And we always try to make sure people are greeted. And, and they get that. So you guys really, you know, really are concerned. And, and when we hear that, it makes us all so proud. We build on that. Because when you start hearing good things and positive feedback, as well as you mentioned the community. So many folks say, it's just wonderful what you do with St. Jude's, what you do with this. And you know, we're, we're semi-limited on our, we're not in a bank foundation. But we do what we can, and, and everybody gives on an individual level as well. And I think being connected to the community, people understand how important that is. And what about the locations that you guys have? How many locations do you currently have, and where are they? Our main office is in Fishkill, and we have a location in Danbury, Connecticut, in Brewster, New York, Kingston, Catskill, and Hudson. Fantastic. And we actually have two locations in Fishkill. Our HVAC building, is actually, the Vision is actually a separate building. We have about 130 full-time equivalents right now. Fantastic. And. Uh, we pretty much cover the Hudson Valley from Midwest Chester up through the Capital District. That's fantastic. So if people want to contact you, uh, where would they go on a website and phone number? What would they do? You go know, nsupply.com, and uh, we're, we're in the, you can just Google us and find us. We're on Facebook. And uh, social media has been important, too, and we've had a lot of great connection with the community through social media. But the, the most thing I want to stress to anybody, you know, some folks say, can I come in? Is, are you just commercial? Are you industrial? Everybody who's just even thinking about doing something or upgrading a faucet or maybe eventually, stop in, take a walk, meet our people, walk around our showroom, walk around our counter, and kind of get a sense of who we are. And when, when you're ready to do something, we're there. And our advertising has always been, as you know, top of mind awareness. Yeah. No one's going to do a bathroom or change a heating system because they hear an ad. But when they're ready, word of mouth is still our most important thing. And they say, well, I go to NNS. NNS, I've heard of them. I heard they're good people. Yeah. And that's the reputation we really value. Well, you know, for here, especially HVNN and, and, and what we're doing, covering local news in just this area and having local businesses, that's a real important part for us and people to support local going forward. So, one, I want to thank you guys for being four generations of business. I want to thank Lou's new and used from years ago, <laughs> right? Otherwise, you guys wouldn't be here today. But appreciate you coming. I appreciate you coming on today. Thank you so much. And I thank you and I appreciate the job you're doing, too. You're a good part of our community and we appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, everybody, make sure you go to NS Supply. Anything that you need, go down there, see those guys. They're going to help you with any kind of run innovation you need or HVAC in terms of that. This is Frank Duraffoli here on Business Newsmakers. We'll see you next week with another local business.